History teaches us that seminal movements in civil rights were catalyzed by student activism. A half century later, Andrew Brennan of Lexington is igniting student advocacy for better educational policies that improve in outcomes for all students. A conversation with Andrew Brennan, the National Field Director for Student Voice and the co-founder of the Pritchard Committee for Academic Excellence Student Voice team coming up on Connections. I, I just gloat about you all the time because you're doing such magnificent things and I'm proud of you and I can't imagine how your parents feel. Uh, who have raised you to be this fine young man, humble and intelligent and civically engaged in all kinds of ways. So enough with all those superlatives. Tell us about this uh, new new gig of yours that's on a national scale of what you've been doing here in Kentucky. I mean, the, Kentucky is leading the way on a lot of things. Our high school graduation rate, the increase in our ACT scores, the increase in our overall kind of education achievement, really. The other thing is student voice. I mean, Kentucky is a breeding ground, an incubator for this national student voice movement. Um, the organization that I'm working with now called Student Voice kind of saw the grassroots organizing that was happening in Kentucky and decided, you know, we want to bring that around the country. And there's a lot of energy for it, too. Yeah. Yeah. And what we noticed was last year, one of the big things that got you some press in the Washington Post and other national publications, and of course here in Kentucky, was a bill that was before the 2014 General Assembly to uh, allow students to participate in the superintendent screening process. Yeah. And people think, why is that such a big deal? But it is a big deal. And tell us why. Right. Well, we saw the superintendent screening process as the first step you know, and showing what is possible when students are engaged on school governance structures. You know, the reality is, the truth is, the superintendent, this is our big secret, the superintendent screening committees don't make a lot of big decisions. I mean, they just put some candidates in front of the school boards. But we wanted the chance to show that students can take this responsibility seriously, mm -hmm. that we can do this work. You just have to believe it. So why is now the time for these student movements to really gain their footing and to make a difference in and educational policies that are formed not just in Kentucky, but across the nation. Why now? You know, I, I, I think it's social media. I think a lot of it has to do with social media. We're able to build community and learn from each other in ways that were never possible before. We're able to connect and criticize and question institutions that were otherwise, you know, shrouded in this cloud of secrecy that are now transparent in ways that weren't before. Um, and the other thing is, I think there's just a growing sense that, you know, students must be prepared to succeed in the 21st century economy. And every time a school exists that doesn't prepare students to do that, we suffer. And so as a constituency, you know, it's time that we started doing something about that. Yeah, and taxpayers should be elated yes. of the advocacy, shouldn't they? Well, there's much more coming up with Andrew Brennan on Connections. Make sure you tune in Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on KET2, Sunday at 1.30 Eastern Time on KET, the main channel. And then you can watch online anytime after that on KET.org slash Connections. Hope you'll join us.